everyone, my name is Leela and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a pan seared salmon with a sweet and spicy chili sauce. Now for those of you who've been reading my blog, you know that salmon is one of my favorite things to eat. But I can't cook it inside because my husband hates the smell of it. So I usually do it outside on the grill. But today I'm going to be doing it outside on the burner and just do a little pan searing on it. And then I'm going to top it with my favorite sweet and spicy chili sauce which is quick and simple to make. So let's go ahead and get started on our recipe today. Now today I'm going to be using just two pieces of salmon since it's just me eating it. But the sauce in this recipe actually makes enough for four or five medium sized pieces of fish. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just lightly sprinkle each of these fish pieces with salt. Then I'm just going to let this sit while I prepare the sauce. Now for the sauce, I'm going to be using a little bit of this hot chili garlic sauce just for some heat. And the base of the sauce is going to be made with this sweet chili sauce, my favorite May Ploy. And I'm adding a little bit of soy sauce just for that umami flavor. So in a large cup, I'm going to be mixing together a half a cup of the sweet chili sauce, two teaspoons of the soy sauce, and just one teaspoon of the hot chili garlic sauce just to give it that kick. And I'm just going to mix this thoroughly together. And then pour it into a small pot. Now I'm going to heat this on medium high and I want to stir constantly just for about a minute and a half or just until it gets hot and slightly bubbly. Now to cook the salmon, I'm using a non-stick pan, which I highly recommend because skinless salmon tends to fall apart when pan fried. And this just makes it so much easier. So I'm just going to heat the pan on medium high and then add a tablespoon of olive oil and just slightly swirl it around the pan just to coat it evenly. Now once this oil's hot, I'm going to add the salmon and then let it cook for about three to four minutes on each side or just until it's slightly browned. When it's brown, I'm just going to remove it and place it on a plate. Now to serve this, I first put the sides on the plate. And here I have some edamame and wild rice. And if the sauce has cooled down at this point, you just want to quickly reheat it. And then just drizzle it or spoon it over the top. Now you want to make sure not to add too much sauce because you don't want to overpower the flavor of the salmon. You should be able to taste both the sauce and the salmon and the combination is really delicious and is what really makes this dish. So I hope everyone enjoyed this recipe and I want to thank you all for watching. And if you're interested, I will leave the links below. You can follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. And um, I'll leave the links to my blog and my Chinese food website. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.